Uh, but the good news is PlanF is not going away. Uh, it is only not going to be available for people that turn 65 or start Part B, more importantly, January 1, 2020. Mm. They will not have an option for Plan C or F. Everybody who's already aged into Medicare, effectively, nothing changes for them. So starting January 1, you're going to have basically two groups of Medicare beneficiaries. You're going to have your previous group where there are no changes for them. They can have all the plans that they want. And then you'll have the new group, which will basically have all the Mets up plans minus Charlie and Frank. Charlie and Frank, I like that. So, so if they have, if they had F or Frank, they can keep it. Yes, absolutely. And they can enroll in a different one somewhere, right? Yep. And even if they don't have F now, but they're aging to Medicare, let's say they're on plan G, right? Or they're on a Medicare Advantage plan, but they're healthy and they decide they wanna enroll in Plan F, they can still do that. Hmm. So it's not a caveat where you have to have Plan F now to still be able to buy Plan F. You just have to have turned 65 and been eligible for Medicare prior to 1-1-2020. Okay. And you will always have an option to buy Charlie or F. Cool. Charlie or Frank. Charlie or Frank. You have. Um, you also have some interesting stats. You were g giving me earlier sort of the opportunity in this industry, advantage versus supplement. Do you have any like, you know, research or stats or anything hmm. showing the market growth or market share, anything that you could kind of drop on the people? Yeah. Um, do you know any other markets where you get 10,000 new customers every day? No, I don't. That's what's happening right now. It's been happening for about two and a half years. Uh, it's projected to run for a course of about eight to nine years, uh, where every day nationwide, coast to coast, like butter and toast, you're going to get 10,000 new customers that turn 65 and need guidance in Medicare. Yep. Truthfully, we don't have enough agents to service them, so we're definitely always looking for new agents that we can train and bring on and, and service that market. But it's also so big that any agent can choose a segment of the market to work and actually make a very lucrative living.